Hi, I'm Sandata Yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Computer Programming 3 Cobalt Series. Right now, we are on our Lecture 5 of Week 4 to 7. Let's proceed for our topic for today. So, we have here the history. COBOL stands for Common Business Oriented Language was one of the earliest high-level programming languages. COBOL was first proposed in 1959 by the Conference on Data System Languages or CODASIL. Three ANSI standards for COBOL have been produced in 1968, 1974, and 1985. Object-oriented COBOL is the fourth edition in the continuing evolution of ANSI ISO standard COBOL. Next, we have here in Figure 1 displays the programming language used as timeline. You will notice that uh, COBOL is from the fourth run, okay, goes to the PL1 or PL slash 1. Then we have the COBOL. So these are considered to be one of the oldest programming language in the world okay let's proceed underlining philosophy like the name suggests COBOL was meant to be common or compatible among a significant group of manufacturers until right now that's why if you're going to ask me why you're going to study COBOL because uh, businesses from the manufacturers uh, like uh, banks already been used COBOL or still they are using COBOL right now and uh, they wanted programmers of COBOL to transfer the data to a new uh, servers they have so next we have COBOL is designed for developing business typically file oriented application and is not designed for writing system programs the advantages of COBOL is simple portable, maintainable, and the disadvantage, very wordy, even the sign are considered to be in words, has a very rigid format, you need to obey the rules and regulation on how to uh, format in terms of display, the numbers, and so forth. Not designed to handle scientific application, and it's true because uh, it can be used as uh, simple numbers uh, like money. Areas of application for over four decades, COBOL has been the dominant programming language in the business computing domain. For instance, over 95% of finance insurance data is processed with COBOL. In 1999, Gartner Group reported that over 50% of all new mission critical application were still being done in COBOL. This is what I mentioned a while ago. So the programmers are needed for the uh, backup or the transfer of data to a new uh, server or workstation. Now we have the distinct features of COBOL. The language is simple. No pointers, no user-defined types, no user-defined function, structured-like data types. That's why it's called structured programming. File records are also described with great detail as are lines to be output to a printer. COBOL is self-documenting. The structure of COBOL. COBOL programs are hierarchical in structure. Each element of the hierarchy consists of one or more subordinates elements. The levels of hierarchy are division, section, paragraphs, sentences, and statements. These four division cannot be uh, inter-replaced uh, or cannot be replaceable by each and every, uh, like a random. It should be in here. There are four main division and each division provides an essential part of the information required by the compiler. Structured of COBOL continuation, at the top of the COBOL hierarchy, are the four divisions. The sequence in which they are specified is fixed and must follow the order. So we have 
the first one identification this is the division supplies information about the program to the programmer and the compiler so the name of the program the, the name of the compiler and the programmer's name so you need to put that in the identification division next environment division is used to describe the environment in which the program will run okay so you you must specify what kind of uh, IDE are you going to use okay um, before when I use this COBOL so it is states even the diskette okay the uh, 3 and 1 half and 5 and 1 fourth you're going to indicate that in the environment division before you're going to use the COBOL programming and uh, another is uh, the platform also uh, in the environment division okay so it is needed also uh, what kind of server or workstation you're going to use in the environment division next data division provides description of the data items processed by the program so data divisions are all data came from the programmer then you're going to put that into a data division so many examples are variables but it is not state variables here in uh, COBOL they mentioned that it is a description or the data itself the data item next procedure division contains the code used to manipulate the data described in the data division it is here what the programmer described his algorithm so this is something like uh, if statement like that uh, so the for statement the go to statement so all of the, those uh, codes are or clause are in the procedure division some COBOL compilers requires that all the division be present in the program while others only require the identification division and the procedure division but I I, I didn't even use COBOL that you're going to identify only identification and procedure division you're going to identify as much as possible the hierarchy itself it means to say um, if you're going to make a complete program all the four divisions are needed but if you want to be to create a program a simpler way then that is true uh, not all the four divisions are required because it is a simple program one of the example is uh, displaying a name so just in case you're going to display a name only then a very simple code display so no need to put all the four divisions we have so computer programming uh, mabuhay example this one so look at this so this is the numerical division and this is the non-numerical division they segregate with one column okay so right here this is the identification division as I mentioned a while ago that is the name of the program the name of the file and the programmers name it should be indicated in the identification division then we have the environment division they are both division okay environment division so configuration section what are you going to use as a COBOL so they use RM COBOL okay uh, the object computer RM COBOL also then we have the data division data division file section so data division they didn't even put data here so we have procedure division the main logic section display mabuhay uh, as I mentioned uh, displaying on the screen is having a code of display only and what do you need to do is to have a double code then a type what you needed to see on the screen just like this oh boy then stop run so another is that you can look for uh, a step right here you will notice that the display mabuhay is not right here okay the reason is that in area a and area b okay from the numerical and non-numerical in area b 
there is a B1 and B2. Okay? So this one is B2. And this one is B1. Okay, that's the idea. So if you do if you know that idea, so everything is simple in COBOL. Now next we have data types in COBOL. COBOL is not a strongly typed language. In COBOL there are only three data types numeric, alphanumeric, and alphabet. Now data types are declared using a level number, a date name or identifier, a picture clause. So look at this. So those are the data types. So right now we called it a variable, a level number, data name or identifier, picture clause. So this three uh, is mentioned here is a simple what do you call wordy, but they have only one meaning right now in the te new technology. These are called to be variables. Now example zero one gross pay pick nine five. V99 value zeros. So V is the decimal point, okay, separated by the n the five digits we have. So three, three hundred point zero zero. That is the idea of the cross pay. Now group items. Group items are the COBOL equivalent of structure. The items with a group item must be elementary item or other group items. Ultimately, every group item should be defined in terms of elementary items. The hierarchy in a group item is represented by different level numbers. Example 01, date of birth. 02, date of birth, peak 99. 02, month of birth, peak 99. 02, year of birth, peak 9. Uh, 2, open and close parenthesis 2. Now, uh, if you're going to identify uh, into a group like this one, okay, so it should be also in a hierarchy like this one, zero 01, that is date of birth, but this one are grouped together as zero 02. So they are connected to each other because it is a group. And this one is separated, zero 01. That is the idea of groupings or grouping an item in uh, COBOL. So basic commands add A to B giving C, subtract A from B giving C, multiply A by B giving C, divide A into B giving C. As an example of uh, uh, operations in COBOL, compute X is equal to A plus B times C, move A to B uh, space C, then sort, sort file on ascending key using inventory file giving sorted inventory file so these are the common but if you're going to run this it's considered to be an error so the reason is the variable a b and c are not given value okay so something like this is something a pseudo code okay a pseudo code next we have basic command continuation merge merge work file on ascending key using input file one input file two giving output file display total cost accept identifier so if you want to have a input from the keyboard your code is accept if you want to display a series of text or number in the keyboard the code is display now perform paragraph name one through paragraph name two varying index from value one by value two until condition so this is something like uh, conditional statement. Sample program by Sundata Villarreal. So this one is the identification division, the program ID Villarreal 1, environment division, configuration section, special names, input output section, file control, data division, file section, working storage section. Then we have here WS-A pick. Okay, so this is uh, the basic of COBOL programming. 77WSB pick. Okay, so we have XXX. So it means the same. We can type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 letters or 10 numbers. If we're going to identify what is WS, that is working storage WS. 
So this storage is 10. The variable is A. WS dash A. So dash identification to separate working storage as variable A. So I call this variable A variable B. Because WS is the working storage. Now they have the uh, numbers right here. But again, it should be itemized right here. Direct. So this one is over. Uh, maybe a typographical error. Now, uh, continuation of it, leakage section, screen section, procedure division, main routine section, main para, display ilig, ilagay ang pangalan ng BSID 2-1. Accept WSA, then display magandang umaga WSA. This one must be accepted to A, then it will be displayed, the variable. Then accept means uh, to wait, okay, to wait on the screen so that you can see or watch what is going on after you run the code so stop run so that's all congratulations and uh, successfully finish our lecture number five thank you and good luck